media is doing a good job covering the details of the uh, redistricting. Um, here's a good, Oklahoma Watch did a good analysis of um, the congressional maps. And so this was the partisan uh, split on them. And basically, Oklahoma County, or, or 5th District, I mean, was like a 52-43 district, like partisan-wise. And the redistricting makes it six points more Republican. Um, and sort of like weakens or keeps fairly similar every other district. Um, so it's pretty obvious like what they're trying to do here. Like trying to make the district that swung a few years back or a couple years back make it impossible for a Democrat to win it. Um, Ten it's years. Pretty, ob pretty obvious. Pretty obvious what they're doing. Is it, so is it this, like if the, whoever the majority is in the state house or whatever, they're the ones who get to decide how to rerun, how to rewrite the congressional districts? Yeah. I mean, it's just a vote by the, by the legislature and then signature of the governor. So, um, oh, yeah. so we're like screwed big time for like, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean, there's like, I mean, the only argument you can make, and I, I just haven't had time to deal with this, but is the racial gerrymander. So yeah. the 5th District, which is Oklahoma County, most of Oklahoma County currently, uh, Pottawatomie County and Seminole County, is like 52% white, like using the current census data. If it was majority, minority, you know, so majority something other than white, it would it would fall under a part of the Voting Rights Act around racial gerrymandering. So they basically caught the fifth district right before it went over that threshold and have now made it like ten percent more white. I mean that's all all they did. So they've if you look at the new map, um, you know, uh, so yeah, here here's I've got the map up on the screen. I mean, so it was just like that purple part of Oklahoma County and part of that red part of Oklahoma County, like that much, that population right there is enough people. Cutting that out of Oklahoma County is enough to add the most populous part of Canadian County, the most populous part of Logan County and all of Lincoln County. So, I mean, so if you just think about who lives in Canadian County and Logan County and Lincoln County, there's a lot more white people. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all they did was they took the south part of Oklahoma County, which is the south side of Oklahoma City, which is overwhelmingly Hispanic, and then just added a bunch of white people. That's all, that's all they did. That's all so they we, did. Can't, we, we can't critical race theory this. I Exactly. I mean, you know. Like, like, we, we can't critical race theory gerrymandering? Like, I, we should. I, I think this is the um, countering their critical race theory by like, white and Latinx voters are the same, man. Like, it's okay. Like, we're all identical. The identical. You know, there's no difference between you and me. Uh, I mean, yeah, but no, but yeah, but no. Like, this, I mean, it's all deliberate. My question is, is like, so like an outside agency, like from a higher office, like the DOJ couldn't look at this map and be like, this ain't work. Like, this is not okay. They can't do anything about that. There's just not a law that says they can. Um, I mean, it had to be like, they have to, the district has to pass a certain threshold. I find it interesting that they didn't go after like the east side of Oklahoma County, you know, where it's a predominantly black uh, population. Like, that that's the part that politically is like interesting to me is is that they're willing to target Hispanic voters and people, but they're not will they're not they wouldn't go after the the black community. Well, um, I mean, let's partly talk about because I mean they'd get. I think they think they'd get a lot more smoke. Well, no, I I, I well yeah, of course they would get a lot more smoke. I mean, but then also you have to look at these as like voting blocks, right? So. I mean, yes, obviously the Black and Latinx constituencies are not monolithic, but if we look at the vote, the way that voting works, especially amongst Latinx communities, like they are kind of all over the place in some areas. Like, I mean, especially for South Oklahoma City, where we're talking about like a predominantly Catholic Latinx 
constituency when we're talking about like generations of like some very conservative thinking then that's out and about um it honestly makes more sense of why you would be voting like more conservative and from another point too is this um it's not because it's no longer just about the identity politic um i'm i think this is really showing that like the parties are starting to segment whenever it comes on race like the democratic party is not going to have a monopoly whenever it comes to like black or brown votes um it's going to be very it's going to starting to become more segmented and it's starting to become more split up um which my personal opinion on this nick i don't necessarily inherently think that's a bad thing and the reasoning as to why is because like thank you for not thinking for not believing that we all think the same but then also at the same time it's like community issues will get split up like people are going to become split and so this is yeah. a way for us to lose our unit cohesion yeah um one one comment no they said and they did say this they said people in gaiman speak spanish so it makes sense oh sure, sure, sure. <laughs> i mean but that's i mean obviously community like there's far bigger splits between urban and rural voters i mean you know as far as like what your interests are i mean you know yeah. economic and political uh it's really preposterous to think that voters in oklahoma city have a lot of common interest with voters in Guyman. um but i don't know yeah so there's not a whole lot that, that probably can be done it really kind of screws uh any democratic representation out of um out of a out of a seat um in fact it really makes the first congressional district and the fifth congressional district kind of the two closest uh potential <laughs> pickups for dems but that'll, that'll be a long time in coming. Thanks for watching our video. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more content. If you want to engage with us, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram.